Is one permitted to pass this way? I wouldn't have known you, Yasha. You have changed so much since you've been abroad. Hmm. And who might you be? When you left, I was no bigger than this. And am Yasha, Theodore Kazoyov's daughter. Well, you won't remember me. Like 
encyclopedia. If we don't get something decided, that fortune and this whole estate with it will be auctioned on the 22nd of August. And you can make up your minds for that. It can be, and that's that. In the old days, 40 or 50 years ago, the chairs were dried, preserved, and bottled. They used to make jam out of them. And time was when, they sent, quiet, them, please, yes. when they sent them by the wagon road to Moscow and Cargo. Sweet and juicy those cherries were. They had the knack of it in those days. But the first of us came out here. Forgotten. No one remembers it. Oh, uh, how are things in Paris, eh? Eat me frogs. You know, I hate frogs. I didn't even leave them. Mine said lately. Everyone in the countryside will be their gentleman or peasant. Now they're at least holiday visitors as well. All of our towns, even the smallest, are surrounded by cottages nowadays. And in 20 years or so, there will probably be a fantastic number of these vacations. Now, right now, they only have their tea on the balcony, but they may very well start growing things on their plot of land, and then this orchard will become a happy, rich, prosperous place. A load of rubbish! Two telegrams came for you, mother. Here you are. Oh, they're from Paris. I'm finished with Paris. You are. You know how old this bookcase is. Last week I pulled out the bottom drawer and saw some figures marked on it. This bookcase is exactly a hundred years old. Pretty good, eh? Oh, we might celebrate its centenary. It's an inanimate object, but it is a bookcase. You can't get away from that. A hundred years? Unbelievable! Yes. This really is quite something. <coughs> Dear, most honored bookcase, in you I salute an existence devoted for over a hundred years to the glorious ideals of virtue and justice. Through the course of the century, your silent summons to creative work has never faltered, upholding in several generations of our line confidence and faith in a better future, and <clears throat> upholding in us confidence in virtue and social consciousness. Yes. <laughs> you ladies, you haven't changed a bit. Bring something in the corner. I'm on the side. Well, time for me to go. Would you care to take your pills now? Don't ever take a medicine, dear lady. It doesn't do any good. Or harm, come to think of it. Here, give them to me, dearest lady. <laughs> there you are. You must be crazy. <coughs> I've taken them all. <laughs> the gentleman was here at Easter ate over a gallon of pickled gherkins. Now those are just the stuff that What is he saying? Oh, he's been muttering for three years now. We've got him here to do it. It's a case of honor, Domini. Hello, Miss Charlotte. Have you got a chance to say hello? Oh, if I let you kiss my hand, it'll be my elbow next, and then my shoulder, and then. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's fine, lucky day. <laughs> do a trick for us, Charlotte. Oh, yes, do a trick for us, Charlotte. Not now. I want to go to bed. Well, I must be off myself. I really don't want to, but I must. Do think it over about those cottages, though, and let me know what you think. If you decide on something, I'll take a loan out for 50000 or so. But please, <coughs> give it some serious thought. Oh, for heaven's sakes, just go. All right, I'm going. He'll run out. Oh, oh, I beg your pardon. Bonnie is going to marry him. He's my young man. Don't overdo it, Uncle. Oh, but I should be only too pleased, Bonnie. Yeah, he's such a nice man. A most worthy fellow. Got to hand it to him. My daughter Dushka says so too. She says all sorts of things, actually, and. <laughs> <laughs> Could I borrow 240 rubles from you? I have interest to pay on the mortgage. We don't have it! Really? Honestly, I don't have any money at all. It'll turn out. Never say die. The times I've thought, this is the end of me. I'm finished. And then, lo and behold, they run a railway line over my land. choo choo! And I get some money or something. And something will turn up this time. You'll see. Dashika will win. 200,000. She has a ticket in the lottery. Well, I have finished my coffee now for the rest. Mr. Lane, what am I to do with you? You have the wrong trousers on again. Look, mother. The sun's up now, and it's not. 